All right, so in this problem, we want to find which of the following graphs represents the, fo the following two linear functions. All right, so if we take a look at our first equation here, 5x minus 4 equals 1, we want to place it into point slope form. But in this case, we do not have a y, and therefore we only want to find the value of x. So if we do so, we have 5x minus 4 equals 1. Now in order to find the value of x, we want to isolate it, so we are going to add 4 on both sides. And we are left with 5x equals 1 plus 4, which is 5. Now in order to completely isolate the x, we are going to divide 5 on both sides, and we have x to equal 1. Therefore, on our graph, we should find a line that is parallel to the y-axis that represents all the y values for, for when x equals 1. And therefore, c and v will be eliminated because we want to find this line over here that is represented by answer a and b. So for all the values of y, x will always equal 1. So that's what x equals 1 represents. Now we'll move on to our second equation here. 6x minus 5y equals 1. Now we want to place this equ uh, equation into point slope form to find our y-intercept and our slope. So in order to place it into point slope form, we want to isolate this y. So we are going to subtract 6x from both sides. And we are left with negative 5y equals negative 6x plus 1. So now we're getting closer to our point slope form. All we have to do is divide by negative 5 on both sides. And we are left with y equals negative 6 divided by negative 5 gives us a positive 6 divided by 5x minus negative 1 divided by 5. Now if we take a look at our graphs, we want to find a positive slope because we have a positive 6 divided by 5, which is our slope, our n. And our y-intercept is going to be negative 1, point, or negative 1 divided by 5. So if we take a look at answer A and D, the graph A represents a positive slope, so that's what we are looking for, a positive slope and not a negative slope. And we want to find a intercept at negative 1 divided by 5. So as we can tell here, the intercept is right beneath the 0, which represents this negative 1 divided by 5, and therefore A will be our final answer.